Welcome to Hard Chat. I'm joined by ubiquitous Australian actor Stephen Curry. Thanks for joining me. My agent said I had to. Let's chat. Hard! <laughs> you seem to have been in every Australian TV production. If you're on a show, is it fair to say the casting director has been lazy? <laughs> <laughs> it's very fair to say that. Um, and it's fair to say I can't say no to things, so that's why I do even the shit ones. So whatever show you're on, you're on Mr Black at the moment, mm -hmm. lazy casting director, mm -hmm. and you couldn't say no? I couldn't say no. It's a ringing endorsement. OK, I, I personally think Mr Black is actually a very good show. Um, but with I, a lazy casting director? With a lazy casting director. Uh, the Nugget was shit, though. I didn't even have a question here about The Nugget because I thought no-one would remember what I was talking about. <laughs> Were you in Neighbours? I was, three times. Are you the only one who's ever been on Neighbours and didn't go on to anything bigger and better? I think I might be there, yeah. yeah. Now, you played the incredibly successful Graham Kennedy in The King. Mm. How did you embody that character when you're so different? <laughs> Polar opposite. Um, it's pretty much just a wig. Just a wig and um, some makeup. Wig and a makeup? Mm. Award winning. Award winning. <laughs> Don't do puns. Now, you had to lose 14 kilos to play Damien Oliver in The Cup, mm. and you lost 14 kilos to play Graham Kennedy. Mm. Are you 14 kilos overweight? <laughs> I am now, yes, yes. As you can see, I'm a, I'm a big, fat behemoth. Yeah, well, you, I mean, you lost the weight so easily those two times. Why didn't you just keep it off? Yeah, I know. I, I had to be forklifted out of my lounge room this morning to get here. Now, with the film The Cup, did you regret losing the weight after no one went to see it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of effort for you. Um, I, I, I regretted um, Lee Patch, the reviewer, wrote in his review, as a friend, not a reviewer, I implore you, don't go and see this film. That's even a bit harsh for me. Now, what was it like being a regular on the season of Frontline that no one remembers? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was good. That was really good. They gave I feel me... like you sneak up on really famous shows yeah. after everyone cares. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I come in at the end of shows, so I killed Secret Life of Us, I killed Frontline. Um, I may just kill Hard Chat. <laughs> hard Chat's like a cockroach. It's pretty hard to destroy. <laughs> now, a lot of actors choose to live in Australia and work overseas, like Eric Banner and Guy Pearce. Yeah. What's it like to not have that choice? I did get cast in an American movie. Oh. I went over and did it, and then I got cut out of it. What was the film? It was called... <laughs> I don't even know. You said yes to so much shit, you can't even remember the shit. <laughs> Literally, it is the shittest thing, and it made no money, and it was so shit, but I was so shit in it that they cut me out of it. Some of the roles you've played include Ferret, Wookie, Trev, Rhino, another Trev, and Maggots. <laughs> Why are you always being typecast as a dickhead? Yeah, because I am. You don't have to dig deep to find the inner dickhead. I never have. It's on the surface. I never will. All right, well, thanks for chatting. Hard! Thanks for having me.